Hello everybody, welcome to Atlantic Ocean Watch on YouTube. I'm also Atlantic Ocean Watch on Instagram. And you can also find me at Atlantic Ocean Watch on TikTok where I do some watch stuff, underwater photography, as well as some humorous stuff about my life. So we have a Sterling Flieger watch here for review. There's the warranty card information I'm showing from the box and other information such as instructions for the watch. A nice cloth for cleaning the watch. And the box that comes in is an absolutely beautiful box. I like the way that it's presented. Here's the timepiece. I like the engraving on the back of the watch case. Leather strap. Leather keepers. A normal style buckle with the engraving on the buckle. Let's put it on with my jelly driver at his dive deep sea hunter. Kind of give you an idea of the size comparing this Flieger watch from Sterling to my I just dive deep sea hunter underwater performance who else on YouTube gives you underwater performance screw down crown no ingress So you will see popping up on the screen some of the technical information if you're interested. Night performance. The hands light up pretty well but I wish that the indices lit up. Uh, and there is no rotating bezel on the timepiece. But this is a pilot's watch, so it wouldn't necessarily have one. Underwater night performance. Again, the hands glow, so you can see them underwater, but the glow doesn't seem to be very bright or last too long. But this is a Flieger watch or a military aviation watch. And if you are in the water, uh, you've got more important problems going on than worrying about how much the watch looms. But again, I wish, as I play with my nephew here, because he tried to put a fish in my ear. Dang, kids. Love my kids, though. Crazy like I am. But, um, you know, if you are a pilot <laughs> and you're in the water looking at your time like that, you probably got more uh, important things to worry about than uh, how well the watch looms. That's what my nephew put the fish back in his ear. I know I ain't right. So, as in a lot of my videos, this is just various scenes over the period of multiple weeks. In this case, about three weeks. What's this? What's this countdown? What is this? What's happening here? I have a new channel called Just Go, where I talk about my tour bus travels and other travels that I do because of work or travels on my own. And I want to be able to take you guys with me on my travels so that you have the opportunity to see a little bit of what I do for work uh, and also get to see and enjoy some of the places that I get to go because of my multiple uh, 
jobs and also of course on my own at times too like in these clips here where I'm shooting for Atlantic Ocean Watch but I'm also filming uh, B-roll and other video for Just Go because coming soon I'll do a video about the military aviation museum that we have here in the Pongo section of Virginia Beach, Virginia, where I live. Um, and the channel Just Go will be focused on that, uh, you know, focused on places I get to go, um, not only locally, um, but also in my tour bus travels and also other work that I do. I travel a lot. Um, and so I have the opportunity to go to a lot of interesting places and I'll give you guys you know, information about different places, uh, little tips and tricks about different places uh, that I get to go. So it's called Just Go. I will leave a link in the description if you are interested in uh, traveling videos. I am blessed that I get to go to a lot of really cool places, not only locally, but uh, primarily throughout the eastern seaboard of the United States because I drive tour buses as my main job and also have other things that I do uh, that uh, allow me to travel. So since this is a Flieger watch, as I take some of the lint on my nephew's head, um, I feel it feels appropriate to shoot some video here at the Military Aviation Museum since we have a review for an aviation watch. Now, the timepiece is comfortable. I have no complaints uh, really about the timepiece, no major complaints anyway. Um, the keepers were a little bit difficult to get uh, into place initially, but once I kind of broke them in over about this three week period of filming this video, um, you know, they, it, the strap went in and out of the keepers, no problem. And these leather keepers, unlike the leather keepers of my Addy's Dive, uh, my, my, I call it my Confused Watch, the Confused Watch video, the, the Diver and Flieger Watch in one. Um, you guys can go back in my videos and see that because it's only a few videos ago. Um, that one, as much as I, I like the watch from Addy's Dive, um, one of the keepers broke because that leather strap wasn't that great. But Sterling thus far has done a great job of making a leather strap that is holding up um, and is not falling apart. Um, unlike the Addy's Dive uh, that I talked about, the Flea Graviation watch that I filmed at Bush Gardens, uh, Williamsburg, and a couple other places uh, a few weeks ago, actually over a month ago. But um, yeah this leather strap I think I'm going to keep on this timepiece uh, because it's holding up very well to the rigors of my work doing tour bus to the rigors, the rigors of being a father to one and an uncle uh, to two nieces and three nephews um, and so I can't complain about it. Uh, the buckle is also holding up uh, very well uh, the glass is holding up very well no scratches uh, on the glass uh, of the timepiece, um, so it's pretty durable. I'm doing so much work and other things I do. I mess around the kids. Uh, all of my watches tend to get a little bit banged up because I'm uh, pretty active. Um, here's Black Mountain in North Carolina, where I'm actually doing um, this voiceover from right now from a hotel um, in Black Mountain. Um, and this is a beautiful place, and I'll be making a video on my channel called just go coming up soon but anyway uh, let's do one more thing real quick concerning the watch let's do pool performance again screw down crown uh, no ingress no fogging no nothing the watch performs excellent um, I really really can't complain and for the price um, I do definitely recommend the watch um, so if you want a luxury looking Flieger watch, uh, this Sterling timepiece I think uh, will be an excellent bang for your buck. Again, it's, it's three weeks, pushing four weeks now of uh, owning the timepiece. And by the time you guys see this video, it'll be closer to a, a solid month of me having this watch. 
and um, I definitely recommend you go to Amazon and purchase this watch if you need a Flieger watch, aviation watch. Um, it does have some failings, but I won't be too hard on it, and I'm going to award this timepiece for clocks out of five clocks i'm giving it four clocks only because i wish that the indices were were loomed and that the loom lasted uh, uh longer and was brighter but uh, if it wasn't for that this would be a five clock um flieger timepiece i really like wish really wish i could do like four point five but I the way I edit these videos I can't make that happen but so I'll give it four um, and do recommend the watch and I'm going to try to get some more um, sterling time pieces as time goes on because I really do believe from my experience with this first watch that they have you know affordable luxury um, and you know I work my butt off um, multiple jobs uh, struggling like a lot of normal people um, but yet um, you know as a hobby I'm still able to at least show you guys these great time pieces so as I move my mountain bike in this hotel room uh, in Black Mountain North Carolina near the Piscot National Forest a lot of cool mountain bikes up here so I bought my mountain bike yo Anyway guys, enough rambling, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, please go get this timepiece and check out my new channel called Just Go, I'll leave a link to that channel in the description, Just Go on YouTube, Yo, so I want to encourage you guys to go, at this see ya, Thai place here, what's it called, Thai, Thai Basil, and um, Look, I'm so retarded. I don't know what town we in. <laughs> Black Mountain. <laughs> there's a look. There's the mountains right there. Duh. And Black Mountain. Um, yeah, Thai basil. Great restaurant. The food was de delicious. I had some uh, vegetables and steak, and it was absolutely delicious. So if you're up this way, come see these folks. Nice people in there. Um, delicious food. As a matter of fact, so far, my experience here in black mountain has been excellent everybody here has been polite uh nice uh of course as a mountain biker it's really cool a lot of mountain bikers around here um just a great place so if you have ever a chance definitely um come up here see ya